So hi Nicolas, we hi. are here again and this time we're going to look at the other side of Soundforce yes. business, right? Yeah, so I have uh, some exciting news about the MIDI controllers integration with uh, certain selected Ar Arturia V collection plugins. So I want to give a big shout out to Maria Tartaria, which uh, gave me a little tutorial on how to set up a certain XML file system in order to have really improved integration with their uh, MIDI controllers. So now with the new uh, firmware update and this XML file that you just need to copy somewhere on your computer, you can switch presets from the plugin using the controller. So for example, on the SFC5, by shifting five, you can switch the presets in the plugin. But what you also will see is that the controller is moving with it. As you change a preset and also as you changing instances, the plugin will dump via CSEX every settings in the interface, which means that I can now in my firmware, ingest the data, and update the controller interface as well. Now, another thing that I can do is avoid values jumping around when the plugin is in a different state than the MIDI controller. For example, let me find an example. Yes, for example, if you can fill the oscillator one value and uh, the controller at the same time, if it's as physically possible, you will see that there's no jumping and that it's elastically being, uh, and of course right now I want to demonstrate, it doesn't work. Oh yeah, it's, I'm using the wrong knob. The oscillator A, even though they're not at the same spot, I rescale the values in order to make everything move smoothly and you don't have any jumping values. Another option is to use a type of pickup mode, so I can change the pickup mode. I can either have everything jumping around this is pickup and this is scaling, what I just demonstrated. If you put it on, uh, on, you will have a pickup mode. When I wiggle this one, the device tells me by blinking the LED4 that I need to go back lower, lower, lower. And when you reach the same value, we're using the controller, the same value that where the, the plugin is, it will be picked up and you actually take over the plugin. So which means that you can have one controller in your computer, five instances of profits, one device, you can switch instances, you can create new plugins, and you can uh, smoothly have the controller updating to all those changes that you're using uh, either during your production or during your, um, during your life set or whatever. So this is really an exciting new uh, for me, something I wanted to do already for six or seven years, and thanks to the people at Arturia already had this in their plugin because they have their own MIDI controllers and they gave me a tutorial on how to set up this XML file. I was able to, to do that. So for, so for people who uh, don't know your controllers, what, yes. what, do you want to just give a brief explanation of what yeah, exactly you do of offer and how much they are and stuff? Of course. So uh, in short, it, it's an easy concept. It's a front panel that looks like a synthesizer. It sends MIDI CC using USB and you can map it to your plugins using the CC uh, mapping functionality of the software you want to use. So uh, those are available uh, from my own web shop in the USA from Perfect Circuit. In the UK, there's a few distributors, so Signal Sounds, Elevator Sounds. Those ones are uh, in Europe, 349 euros, including tax both. This one is 339, and this one is 499. Uh, this one is more, uh, let's say more uh, complex. It's bigger, it's for Jupyter style software and also hardware. So this worked with the Arturia Jupyter plugin, the Tal Jupyter plugin, the Roland Cloud Jupyter plugin, even the Roland Boutique Jupyter, and uh, probably more to come in the future. Brilliant. Well, Nicholas, thank you again. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye.